coming to this locality. Direct distance dialing. And what's direct distance dialing? Well, let's see. Here's a telephone call being dialed. A simple operation that occurs thousands of times a day. But this is no ordinary telephone call. For with each turn of the dial, electronic impulses speed along miles of wire or pass swiftly as light from relay tower to relay tower to span half the nation. In a distant city, a few seconds after the dialing begins, a telephone rings. And two voices have been joined by one of the most amazing communications advances of our time, direct distance dialing, or DDD. Ever since operators first began dialing long distance calls back in 1943, Engineers have worked toward the day when telephone users could dial directly to other cities as easily as dialing a local call. And they have succeeded. With DDD, thousands of cities throughout the United States can be dialed on station-to-station -station calls by one and two-party telephone customers here. Here's how it works. Let's say you want to call someone in Chicago. BA1. 0339. First, you find Chicago in a new area code handbook that you'll be given. Here it is, with the number 312. 312 is called the area code. We'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, now you dial 1 to get the long distance equipment. Then you dial the area code number 312. Then BA1. 0339, just as you would on a local call. And that's all. You've reached the Chicago number easily and without delay, simply by dialing 1 and an area code, in this case 312, before you dial the regular telephone number. Now about those area codes, they work like the many central offices in a city. With all the telephones in a big city, the telephone company couldn't have just one central office and give each telephone a different number. Instead, the city is divided into sections, each with a central office like Main 1. This gives us enough numbers for the whole city. With the millions of telephones in the United States, the country has to be divided too. So the United States and Canada are divided into areas. Each area has its own code number. The new area code handbook will list the area codes for the country's larger cities and for many smaller ones. Lists of area codes are also being included in all new telephone directories as these are issued. If you can't find the area code for a city you want, you can get it easily. Just dial operator. When the operator answers, say, I'd like the area code for, well, whatever city it is. In the same way, if you don't know the out-of-town telephone number, you can get that easily, too, and without any cost. Just dial the operator. When the operator answers, say, give me information in whatever city you want. There's no charge for calling information in another city. Well, that's the story. Now, how about following a DDD call from beginning to end? Let's say you want to call George Olson in San Francisco. First, let's see if you have his number in your blue book. Nope, not there. So you dial zero. When the operator answers, say, Give me information in San Francisco. I'd like the number of George Olson, 1214 Gary Boulevard. 415 Klondike 2 5998. So you write it down. And of course, hang up. Then for the call itself, after listening for the dial tone, dial 1, then 415, then KL2, 
5998. Hello, George. I'd like to have And you made a direct connection to San Francisco in a few well, seconds. It's better service with greater savings in time at no more cost. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Well, for you, it is. But it takes some mighty complicated equipment. Millions of dollars worth put at your service as soon as you turn the dial. And it can do some amazing things. On the call to San Francisco, for instance, this automatic equipment instantly handles the call. There are direct circuits to San Francisco, so it tries those first. If these happen to be busy, the equipment can find an alternate route in less time than it takes you to dial the next digit. But the equipment does more than route calls. This special tape, automatic accounting machines keep detailed, accurate information on each call for billing purposes. Other machines translate the information on the tape into printed form. It's fast, it's accurate, it's reliable. And it will give you a new type, easier to read statement with your bill showing the long distance calls you've made. Some long distance calls will still be placed through operators. They will handle all calls placed from pay phones. Operators will also handle person to person, credit card, collect calls, and calls from four party and rural lines. Well, sometimes things go wrong. So suppose you happen to dial a wrong number. Hello? As soon as you find out that this happened, ask the person who answers for the name of the city you reached and his telephone number. That's important. Write down both the city and the telephone number. Then hang up and dial the operator. Tell her you reached the wrong city, what city it was, and the wrong number you reached. She'll see that you are not charged for the call. Okay, how about a quick summary? With DDD, if you have one party or two party service, you can dial telephones in thousands of distant cities, just like you dial a local call. The only difference is that you dial one and an area code first. You will still play certain calls with an operator. From pay phones, person to person, collect, credit card calls, and calls from four party and rural telephones. But with most calls, you can take advantage of this new, fast service to reach distant cities almost as easily as you call a local number. It's easy, it's fast. It's the latest improvement in helping you make calls to friends, loved ones, and business associates in other cities. We're sure you'll like it.